All right, it's Amanda. I'm back. Um, if you were joining me on the other scope, you can see that I just keep getting kicked out of rooms. It's the night before Christmas, and all through the house, the kids keep kicking me out of the rooms. So anyway, um, I was talking about I'm feeling festive. I was giving my testimony about how I was hit by a car on Monday, December 21st, 2015, and um, I was able to walk away from the scene without any broken bones, and I'm healing quite well. I am walking with a cane, but you know, that's not stopping me. I'm meditating on the word. I'm eating these scriptures, you know, and I'm just keeping my mind right, you know, focusing on God's word or whatever. And um, I wanted to share with you a scripture that will help cheer you up. It comes from Proverbs 17, 22, and it states, a merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. Despite the circumstances you may be facing right now, it's really important to try to be a good sport about it, to really try to, you know, think about the wonderful things that the Lord has done. So I was, before I was rudely interrupted, I was trying to, you know, read some Christmas cards to you. I think I got to the snowman one because I was feeling festive. And um, I'm not going to go back to that one. You just have to go to the other scope and see what I said on that one. Uh... This one says, may your Christmas bring you delightful memories. You know, just a little something to cheer up the people. I know it's kind of corny, but um, here's another one. I think it has like a polar bear on it. Thinking of you during this wonderful time of year. Merry Christmas. My whole point of this exercise is that a merry heart doeth good like a medicine. That's what it tells us in Proverbs 17. So, you know. I mean, it may be like real life stuff to really focus on, bills, family, you know, just different situations, but it's nothing too hard for the Lord. And so, I mean, a lot of times people become so spiritual, you know, and just go through the motions that, you know, the traditions of men have made the word of God a none effect. I don't care how old you are or how young you are, you know, the word is universal. The word will work for anybody. The Lord said, as long as the earth remains, there'll be seed time and harvest. He's a no respecter person. So, you know, you just got to stir yourself up sometimes. You know, don't be afraid. You know, what are people going to think? Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. You know, I'm not afraid to be silly. Here I am on tape goofing around, you know, mother of four kids, the night before Christmas, you know, and I'm humbling myself in God's sight. Why? Because I'm just so thankful to be alive. You know, and I'm, I don't think I'm being dramatic about the situation. You know, I'm looking at things in totally different light. You know, before I was grateful, but now just it's taken, you know, on a new heaviness, a new weight for me. And not a heaviness in a bad way. So anyway, let me get back to a merry heart doing good like a medicine. So I wanted to show you my little bowl of snacks. You know, I have some, um, I got carrots in here. You know, some cookies. Or whatever I've been trying to move around a little bit because sometimes you know after you I don't want to say injury because I'm not trying to claim injury but you know like I said it slowed me down a little bit getting hit by this car but I didn't I don't want to just sit around and be eating you know it's the holiday time but there are little things you can do to condition yourself you know prayer um, you know find somebody to help call somebody on the phone you know just have prayer with them you know, find a prayer partner. There, there are different things that you can do. There are 24 hours in a day. And I'm not just rambling on. Somebody is pulling at me tonight. You know, it needs to be encouraged. You know, you may be feeling bad. You may be feeling low. Maybe you're, you know, doing a double shift right now. Maybe you're in between flights and you just, you know, be festive. You know, and everything gives thanks. You know, what does that mean exactly? Well, in First Thessalonians 5, the Lord, you know, has a lot of encouraging scriptures there. But it says, rejoice forevermore. You know, learn how to try to find the good in it. Learn how to try to make lemonade out of lemons. You know, it sounds like very cliche -ish. But it's really important that you condition your thoughts because as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. You know, I mean, you just got to learn how to be led by the Holy Spirit. So regardless of what the situation is, you can be festive, you can be happy, you can lean on the Lord. And it doesn't mean that you're in denial. And I'm not like a psychologist or anything like that. But what I do know is that, um, you know, most stuff is based upon spiritual principles. And I might not use the terminology, the fancy rhetoric. But what I can tell you is that, you know what, the, it's all in the Word. 
The word tells us all throughout scripture, you see how the Lord is trying to renew our minds and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may be able to prove what is that good, that perfect and acceptable will of God. I know it seems like I'm rambling now, but I'm just so excited, you know, about the things that the Lord is doing just to see the joy of my family. You know, I mean, in this life, you got to learn how to celebrate life. You got to learn how to give God the praise. You got to learn to honor him and not try to take things so heavily you know that you, you get this attitude um there are even a reference in scripture that says be angry and sin not don't let the wrath go, the sun go down on your wrath give no place to the devil learn how to manage these thoughts that you're having and even you know you can engage against certain things that are happening because we can't control other people's behavior but what we can do is we can you know moderate and manage our response to what happens so it's really important that you're releasing the proper words out of your mouth, that your actions are congruent with what you believe. Be festive, be happy. You know, I didn't want to get too serious on this scope. I wanted to be silly on purpose. I wanted to just laugh a little and say, you know, be festive and everything give thanks. You know, celebrate life, period. So I hope this was able to bring some joy and laughter to somebody. But, you know, all jokes aside, remember this. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord our God shall be saved. Don't let anybody try to put you in a box of, of condemnation and guilt of the past and understand that the Lord loves you. Now, he says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. He does say, you know, um, there's seed time and harvest and there are consequences to certain things that we do. But you aren't locked into that. And that's why he sent us Christ. And this is what we're celebrating. You know, what is all, you know, the hoopla about? It's about we're celebrating the birth of Christ. It's about love. It's about joy. It's about giving. You know, and love covers a multitude of sin. So that's it. You know, I just wanted to get on here and encourage some folk and remember to pray. You know, don't get so caught up in this, that, and the third that you're not praying, that you're not earnestly seeking God because, you know, that's what the enemy, and when I say the enemy, dark principalities, you know, wants you to literally fall asleep spiritually and not be aware of what's going on. So it doesn't mean that you're on high alert, me against the world at all times and almost in a schizophrenic bipolar state, but what it does mean is that, you know, you have some balance with it. The Lord says a false balance is an abomination learn how to laugh a little but prioritize learn how to keep God first in Matthew 6 33 he says seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of these things shall be added I'm telling you I got hit by a car on Monday here we are and what is it Thursday and I'm here to be able to praise God to lift my hands up to be silly about some cards you know man the Lord is really wonderful I wish I could share this with you right now but you know what, for now, I got to sign off. Shalom.